Hey, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Hey, whenever you're watching this, Dan Fitzpatrick here, stockmarketmentor.com, and I'm coming back to Beyond Meat. Now, um, this is a stock that we've been all over this week um, since the stock broke out here on, um, on Tuesday, right above the 50. Uh, this is, it's a really, really tight volatility squeeze. Uh, I've talked about this before, I believe even in the chart of the day, the free video here, with the super high short interest, about a third of the float short. Um, good news on the horizon because Impossible Meat is too um, small. They're just not big enough to handle a big contract that McDonald's uh, wanted to do with them. So that kind of leaves the field wide open for this company. And um, the stock, I think, look, it was up um, way over 200 at one point, almost 240, I think. And I mean, that was too frothy. That was just stupid. Uh, I made some money on this stock on the way up, but I sold way too soon. Um, that's for sure. I, I just, to be honest with you, I, I'm not a true believer in anything and in Tesla and Beyond Meat, any of that stuff that some of you guys think is a religion. Uh, I can't hold a stock through a swing like this that goes up and p comes down in five or six days, 31%. That is not something that I can do. You look back here and say like, oh, well, yeah, boy, you just buy this here and then you just hang on to it. These are big old swings in one day from the top of one day to the bottom the next day to where it just opened up 32, 33% swing. That's pretty nasty. And then in just five trading days later, it's up 60%. So this is a trade, you know, it's fine. If you held this stock all the way through, good. I'm sure you're really long Bitcoin too. I like this kind of pattern where the stock is, it's predictable. It's predictable and understandable. 80 bucks was the top of the range here. That was right where the 50-day moving average was, and the stock broke out now, and it's it's working in, it's moving in on 100 bucks. Now, that would be 25% from 80 to 100, and you'll say, well, what's the real difference? I'll tell you what the difference is. This is really predictable, okay? This, here is not, this is just all over the map. So when you see a trade like this, this is a time to really trade this with some degree of confidence. You still wanna be prudent about it. Um, don't just go throw the, you know, everything at it. But this is a stock that should even go higher from here. Uh, and once it breaks through 100, look, they report earnings on the 27th, so there's still a couple weeks left, right? Once this pushes through 100, there's no telling where this thing will go um, before they report earnings, but I just suspect it'll go a lot higher. So if it were me, I would be long and I'd keep a stop just a little bit below Friday's intraday low of 90.25, keep a stop about um, you know, 89.80, 89.90, something like that. That's a reasonable stop and you should, the only way you'll get stopped out is if this rally fades. And in that case, you wanna be stopped out, okay? So that's your trade. Uh, members, I have some really special things for you this weekend that will are guaranteed to help your trading. No question about it. So make sure you pay attention in particular to the second video. And if you're not a member, look, drop that dime, guys. Um, it's a free 30-day trial. Um, if you don't like what we're doing, cancel. No, nothing personal on my part. I won't even know who you are. Uh, but check it out because we really are doing some good things with the idea of helping you become a better trader in 2020. All right, see you next time.